So I had no idea when I bought a GoPro that this was even a thing. And I don't know how long this has been out, but for some, some reason I was figuring I would check for firmware updates and this showed up, this GoPro Labs. And I was like, well, what is that? Which, which just brought me down the rabbit hole. So if you have a GoPro Hero 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12, you can use GoPro Labs. Now, just be aware, older GoPros, let's say the 7, which I have, have very, 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 very minimal things that you can do to them to make them more pro. On the other side of the scale, if you have a 12, you have the maximum. And the 11 and the 12 actually very, very similar to the things that you can kind of add. It kind of talks about this. And you may, before we go into it, you may be, be, be wondering, you may be wondering, you may be wondering, what is it? Well, it's, it's like a beta software that, or firmware for your camera, that allows it to do things that it couldn't do out of the box. And it's really for those of us that kind of say, I'd like some more advanced features. I'd like it to be able to do X, la la la, this, this is it. So for instance, first off, you have to download their firmware. Now their firmware is really simple. You are gonna go in here, <clears throat> it says get started. And it's gonna ask you what camera you have. It's going to download, you can see like for me, I was like, I, ha I had a Hero 11 Black. Then it says, okay, cool. So here's where you're gonna download your uh, firmware. And then once that's downloaded, you're gonna install it. Uh, basically you just put it, it's a little upload folder. You're gonna put that on your, an SD card, pop it in there, turn on the GoPro. It takes, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute for it to do the firmware update. Yeehaw. Uh, and you'll see, right, view on GitHub, because that's where you go to get it, right? Firmware, that's your, which, which, one, which one do you have? And as you can see, GoPro Hero 7, Last update was January 2021. It's been a while. And uh, the 11 and 12 have been updated literally in the last month or, month or two. What does it do? Uh, advanced features, complex setting changes, delayed actions, motion detection, custom scripts, video overlays, overlays low light capture, all kinds of stuff. And what's super cool about it is you can do this on a computer and it just, you just, it creates a QR code and then you basically just hold your camera up there and it sees the QR code, which is pretty much what I think the firmware is, is so that it realizes that when it sees a QR code that it has to install a set of settings. It's just, it's just, it's just easier. So you can, if you go here, you can come on here. There's your firmware, yes, yes, yes. But as you can see, overview of labs functionality and device compatibility. So on a seven, you can alter the file naming. <clears throat> It's not overly exciting, right? You can you can now can get an arc an archive mode, uh, boot command, extra long time lapses. Uh, you can have a histogram show up on the screen, which is kind of cool. Large chapter support. That's actually nice because normally you only get maximum of four gigs per file size. Now you can go up to twelve, which is cool. Uh, live stream initiation, maximum shutter angle. That's actually really good, and that's something that I want to do on this one. Uh, metadata injunctions. So I believe that is allowing you to put like, hey, this footage is owned by Greg and it's embedded in it, which means it can't be altered. Uh, you can even do a color bar overlay, a Luma sweep, owner information. There's that owned by, right? QR decoding while recording, SD card speed test. You can have it do a sunrise, sunset start. And this is all on the seven, uh, a, G a GPS speed. So you could actually have it on here and pretty much all of them, uh, once your camera hits a certain speed, it starts recording. Because you're like, I don't care when it's recording like slow, but when I'm at a certain speed, I want it to start. A gyroscope movement, uh, acceler accelerometer movement, sound pressure, like it's just got so much stuff. And you can, like I said, you can go in here and, and do it all via the website. You can, sure, you can. Why QR codes, right? But I actually prefer to use, and I found this app. And I don't know if it's an official app by GoPro. I honestly have no idea, but it is this one here. And it was just called uh, QR Control. QR Control. What does that stand for? I don't know. Because it doesn't, I was like, GoPro Labs, QR Control. Well, it's, it's for the QR. Anyways, here it is. You guys may be able to see this. I'm going to try to hold my camera a little steady. So you got your modes. So again, you can sit, I want to set a video mode. You know, standard eight by seven at 60 frames per second, super view uh, with auto boost on. You could set all this other stuff. You see it's building a QR code here at the bottom. Uh, I wanted to go into ProTune here. So I'd like it to have a minus five EV high bit rate. 
a 180 degree shutter, which means if it's at 24, it'll shoot at 48. If it's at 60, it'll shoot at 120. If it's at 30, it'll shoot at 60, but it has a 180, which is very cool. Um, sharpness, I have mine set to medium. ISO maximum, if you want to set that. Color, I have mine set to natural, but I could come in here and say, uh, yeah, natural is fine. But you could change it, right? I could change it to flat or vibrant. And then basically once this is here, this is this is the sweetness, right? I turn on my camera because I got a QR code and I turn on this camera somehow. Somehow you turn these on, right? And this turns on and you'll actually see it says, whoa, upgrade your SD card, but it's fine for this. It does come up and say that it's running GoPro Labs on it, but now I can just do this, ready? Boom, check mark. You'll see it, boom, it just, and it did everything. It switched it to 5.3K, 8.7, 20, like, wow. That's so cool. And then you have other things you could do because I, I would prefer to set everything for one off of here. But you'll have, there's a whole bunch of stuff here like for starts and motions. So if it does a certain thing, it'll just start the camera. I'm not gonna go through all this. You guys can figure this out if you want. There's this preference button, uh, GPS, right? On, off, do I want it on? Voice control, quick capture, LCD off, LCD on. So let's say I did this. Oh, this is how fast it'll go off. Extras, this is the big one, I think. Switch camera to pro mode, none required. I don't know what it is, but I got a bunch of stuff in here that you can play with. Owner, for instance, your info. So I can just be like, so my info is me. So I am owner, Greg, and then I'm hoping this will allow me to put my name in there, done. So I've got my own name in there, owner, ready? I guess that's it. It's been in, check, bug, break two. And it's been embedded. So I like that. But it's got all kinds of stuff. And I encourage you guys, if you go here, because I had no idea. Not that you're gonna use probably all of them, but there's gonna be some. So it tells you, right? For the Hero 11 to 12, you can put a message to disable during a lab shooting. You can come in here, your owner, which is what I just did. You can do Hero 10 to 12, store LRV files as NLE ready proxies. Uh, detect QR codes while recording, RTMP address to live stream. Just, there's just so, just so much solo. Hero 9 to 12, use only one channel of audio. Instead of it using both, you can have one so that another one's probably free. Uh, SD card speed test. So this one does a speed test. So let's, let's try this, right? I'm gonna do this speed test. All right, so I'm gonna say yes. Input data one to nine, number of times to run the test. So I'm gonna tell it to run it twice because we wanna, verify that this card is okay, which it won't. And does it do anything? Look at that, speed test. Come on, that's cool. Because if you're like, I wonder how fast this can, can do it. Is it gonna be quick enough? Is it gonna screw up halfway through my ride? That's a that's a winner for sure. There's just, there's just a ton of stuff. I encourage you guys to play with it. Now, here's the thing. It is, it is beta software, right? It is beta software. So you, you are entering with a little bit of risk for sure. I don't know how easy or hard it is to go back to not having the GoPro Labs firmware on there. But uh, I, th I think for me, the flexibility and being able to have certain features that I couldn't, I couldn't get before and having the easy use to be able to have some presets set up right on the app and just be like, click, done, click, done, camera. Super cool. All right, guys, GoPro Labs, go check go check it out if you have a GoPro. And again, you could be as far back as a seven. It's limited as to all the features you can, all the way, all the way up to the new 12. Yeah, very cool. All right, guys, uh, GoPro, right? Who knew? Well, there's, there's a lot of people that knew. I didn't, I didn't know. Now I know.